The photograph is a bumblebee in the center of a yellow flower. At the top of the photo are the words, Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore and the National Park Service arrowhead symbol. The photograph is a park ranger holding a bumblebee puppet resting on a picture of a yellow flower. In the center of the photo are the words, Story Time with a Ranger. Hello friends, I'm Ranger Melissa and I work at Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. I'd like to read you a story about a bumblebee. And what if that bumblebee was you? Are you ready? Get comfortable and let's begin. The title photograph is a fuzzy light yellow and black bee on a pink flower. In the center of the photo are the words, Buzzing Bumblebee, written and read by Ranger Melissa. The next photograph is a bumblebee in flight that is about to land on a pink flower with a yellow center. What if you were a fuzzy bumblebee, out flying the open air and free, buzzing from flower to flower with glee? Imagine the magical things you'll see. The next photograph is a close-up of a fuzzy yellow bumblebee standing on the petal of a white flower. Your bee body is made up of some special things. A hairy tongue for sipping and fast-beating wings. Six legs, antennae, and a pair of dark oval eyes. Your home is the field, wildflowers, and blue skies. The next photograph is a bumblebee nest on the ground. The nest is made up of small connected brown tubes that have open circles on the top. Your bee family lives in a colony on the ground. The queen bee is in charge and bosses everyone around. Each bee has an important job and together you're bound. When you are all buzzing at one time, it is quite the sound. The next photograph is a light yellow bumblebee crawling on tiny green flower buds with white bell-shaped flowers. Believe it or not, but your bee life began as a small egg and then you hatched into a larva without a single leg. Next you changed into a pupa and spun your own cocoon and soon you emerged as an adult one summer afternoon. The next photograph is a black and yellow bumblebee with its black tongue inside a purple flower. Busy bumblebee, what is it that you eat? You search for bright blossoms to find your treat. The wildflower's nectar inside tastes so sweet. You move on to the next one to drink and repeat. Look, it's a purple flower patch. Watch me eat. The video shows two bumblebees flying around and feeding on purple flowers that are ball shaped on top of tall green stems. The next photograph is an orangish yellow and black bumblebee on a bundle of white and pink flowers that are shaped like stars. Bumblebees, like all our pollinators, are key. They help crop foods grow for you and me. Without them, there'd be less plums and cherries, fewer apples, peaches, and all of the berries. The next photograph is a yellow and black bumblebee flying just above purple and orange flowers that are shaped like balls. To all the buzzing bumblebees out there, as your newfound friend, I would like to share, thank you so very much for all you do. I will do my best to live kindly with you. The last photograph is a fuzzy black and yellow bumblebee sitting on a lavender flower. In the center of the photo are the words, The end. I hope you enjoyed learning about the bumblebee and imagining that you were one. Next time you're outside and near some flowers, keep your eyes 
and ears open to find buzzing bumblebees. Thank you for listening to Storytime with the Ranger. I hope you come again soon. The National Park Service arrowhead appears and fades to black.